Old gaming consoles fascinate me, and although they're not as high-tech as today's consoles, gaming consoles from the past have some qualities that make them just as good as the latest systems. However, one very distinctive quality that old consoles have are their so-called easter eggs and error messages. Coming across these as a kid really spooked me, and the reason for this was not because of the visuals on the screen, but the sounds that came with the message. These eerie sounds definitely seemed out of place for a console that was meant to entertain, and it surely scared a lot of young gamers. That said, here are 5 gaming console sounds that spooked us as kids. Sega CD Warning Now this first sound doesn't come from a console, but rather a game disc with a warning, and the sound that plays in this message is just as creepy as the following sounds on this list, which is why I felt this needed to be here. This message would play after inserting a Sega CD disc into a CD player instead of the Sega CD console. In other words, if you were to place a Sega CD disc into a regular CD player, you would get this message. Here, listen. Warning, this disc is for use with a Sega CD system only. This disc contains CD-ROM data and is not for audio use. Please press stop on your disc player now. This disc contains CD-ROM data that may damage your audio system. Please stop playing this disc immediately. According to others who've tried this, leaving a Sega CD disc in the CD player would damage the speakers due to the loud, high-pitched guitar riffs that played. Now, I don't understand why Sega inserted those sounds when the woman who spoke sufficed. Warning us with words instead of with nightmare-inducing sounds would have been enough to make us eject the CD, and it would also have saved us from hearing those eerie sounds. Fearful Harmony Unlike the sound I just talked about, this next one comes from a console, the PS1. The PS1 startup screen has always given me chills. Hearing that sound after turning on the PS1 wasn't scary, just pretty cool to hear. However, there is a sound on the PS1 that frightens me to this day, and it can be heard if you inserted a disc that the PS1 cannot read, such as a pirated game or a damaged disc. Upon inserting an unreadable disc, the PS1 would start up as usual, but after a few seconds, you would then hear a loud and startling sound and arrive at a screen similar to the startup screen. Then after waiting for a few seconds, a sound known as Fearful Harmony would begin to play. Here's the sound. Now what makes this frightening is the slow increase of this sound as you wait. It's almost as if PlayStation inserted this just to creep us out enough to never buy pirated games. This error message surely spooked me, but it isn't the only one from PlayStation. As you'll see next, there's more sounds from PlayStation consoles that scared kids. Personified Fear just like the previous sound, this next one can be heard on the PS1. Personified Fear, the name of the sound, can occur if you inserted an unreadable disc or if the BIOS of the PS1 is corrupted. Now, unlike Fearful Harmony, Personified Fear stops playing after a few seconds. However, that's just enough time to make you feel uneasy. Here, have a listen.
The sudden swoosh of the sound and its harshness was just enough to give me goosebumps, but what makes this scarier is the silence that follows. On top of that, you also arrive at a black screen. The darkness coupled with the silence can put you on edge expecting a jump scare. Thankfully, there was none of that. The PS2's Red Screen of Death By now you're probably surprised that most of these sounds come from PlayStation consoles, but I promise you that the last sound on this list will not be coming from a PlayStation, and I also promise you that it's creepier than the ones I've already said. Now this error message, known as the Red Screen of Death, appears on the PS2, and just like all of PlayStation's error messages, the Red Screen of Death comes with an unnerving sound. Listen. You can get this message by inserting an unreadable disc, such as an Xbox or PC game. Seeing the screen turn red as dark ambient music played is probably what made this creepy. Now, before I move on to the next sound on this list, I just want to add that PlayStation has made other creepy things like their commercials, and because of that, it makes me wonder if PlayStation deliberately made these error messages frightening. Who knows? Xbox. If you've ever owned the first Xbox, then you've most likely heard one of its creepy sounds. Unlike the other consoles on this list, Xbox has a few hidden sounds, all of which are downright creepy. Now most of these sounds play in the background as you wait on the console's dashboard, but there are some sounds that are well hidden within the system. These deeply hidden sounds were discovered after someone had extracted the audio files from the Xbox's hard drive. And to no surprise, these sounds are quite unsettling. Here's some of the sounds that were found. According to Microsoft, these sounds are actually public domain audio from NASA transmissions from the Apollo days that they tweaked. In other words, these were NASA transmissions that were modified in such a way that they came out sounding creepy. And the reason for adding these sounds, according to Microsoft, was so that the console would seem like it was made of technology from another world. Their intention to make the Xbox unlike any other console by adding those sounds was a success, but hearing those sounds as a kid didn't make us think Xbox was a superior console. It just left us feeling uneasy. Thanks for watching. If there's any creepy sounds from consoles I left out, let me know in the comments below. That said, I'm Bizarre Bub, and I'll see you in the next countdown. So. Before I end this video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching my vids and staying sub to my channel even though I don't upload that often. Like geez, it's been a month since I last uploaded a video, but the reason for that is because I want to make vids on topics that haven't been touched on before, and I also want to make sure that it's something worth watching, and that takes a while to do. But you guys being there, my subs, really motivates me knowing that there's someone expecting me to make a video and knowing that there's people enjoying my videos is what gets me working. 
I don't want to talk too much, so I'm just going to end this by saying thank you. Thank you all for watching my vids and supporting me through the comments. That said, I'll see you in the next video.